And whilst the 14th Emir of Kano, Mohammed Sanusi II, finally settles into the palace, he's already taken stock of how he intends to make his impeachment, his impact felt positively. In an exclusive interview with our correspondent, Binga Shiru, at his residence in Kano, the Emir discussed the challenge of threat to peace and stability in the north. Al Haji Sanusi says his focus would be on institutional reforms, including the promotion of girl child education, adult literacy, primary health care, and reducing unemployment. Well, I mean, as you know, uh, the ambition of every prince is to succeed to the throne of their forefathers. And we are grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he has chosen us uh, for the role at this point in time. Um, and we pray that we are given the wisdom to carry out the responsibilities that the burden placed on our shoulders entail. Now, what challenges do you think you might be facing as the stepping into the shoes of your ancestor as the 14th Emir of Kano? Well, first of all, we have the immediate problem of stepping into the shoes of a great man, an Emir who's been there for 51 years, since two or three years after independence uh, till um, a few days ago. Uh, al Haji Adu Bayro was obviously a part of the history of Nigeria, um, and it's very difficult for anyone to step into those shoes. Uh, secondly, we are taking over at a time when there are challenges in the north, uh, peace, instability, um, the um, very poor economic conditions, deindustrialization, joblessness, and therefore uh, there is a need to reform uh, the institution and um, improve its role uh, and its focus on education, um, the economy, industrialization, jobs, uh, because that is the foundation for peace and security and progress. Um, and I do hope that the experience I come with as a banker and economist uh, will uh, help in this direction. In what ways do you think you can achieve these reforms? I think the reforms continue to be ongoing. Um, al Haji Adu Bayra himself had um, a significant level of Western education when we came in 1963. Um, and it's always about improving the level of engagement with government at the state, local, and federal levels, um, ensuring that the benefits that should accrue to the people come, uh, giving advice and encouraging the people to embrace um, initiatives that would help improve their lot. So things like girl child education, things like adult literacy, things like primary health care, uh, things like arts and crafts um, and um, skills, things like embracing a culture of getting into a job, a work ethic, um, and also encouraging the government to invest in infrastructure, in electricity, in whatever is, to, is required to create opportunities for the people. Uh, these are, I think, going to uh, engage uh, this council that I will be chairing, and they're going to be a major focus uh, in the next few years.